Hey, all you productive mommies out there. It's Omitra. I just was getting on real quick just to share a little bit um, about some of the experience that I've had in the last week. I'm actually at my sister's and uh, she went in for surgery, um, for major surgery this past Monday and it's Friday today. Uh, and so I've been um, at her house every day since then. Actually, Monday I was, I picked her up at 6.30 for surgery and didn't leave, um, really didn't leave her side until 10.30 the next day on Tuesday, didn't go home or anything. Um, and my, my mom and I have been trading off since then to take care of my sister. Um, and uh, so she's been talking about, and, and actually my husband and I have been talking about too, about how important it is to have family or even friends who, you know, have your back um, and who are there for you. And um, so my sister's been, you know, even just kind of teary about it because she's just like, I don't know what I would have done without you guys. Just literally, they prepared her, we thought, pretty good for the surgery, but they didn't tell us that they were going to let her go um, or release her from the hospital while she could not move her legs because the anesthesia was still in her body. And so literally the, the nurses had to put her in my minivan and then I had to call my husband on the way to her house to have him meet me there to get her into her house and get her on the couch. Um, and so we didn't know that she wasn't going to be able to move at all. And um, that she, that was the most intense time of just being right there for her, getting her everything. And we talked about like, well, what if something had been going on where I couldn't spend the night and our mom can't help her physically get up. My mom's, her mom is older and healthy, but not, you know, not that strong. So, um, so you just realize how important having people who are there for you and have your back and are willing to make adjustments to what they're doing to be there for you, you know, how important that is. And my husband, and I feel it in the opposite direction because we appreciate my mom, my sister and his parents and um, family, you know, being there for us. And when we need something, they're there. And, and we really appreciate that too. It doesn't just go one way. Um, but it's just so invaluable. And it's something we're trying to teach our kids too, because it's been hard for them that mommy um, isn't, is been getting back. I've literally been getting up, you know, getting out of the house about eight or nine and then coming home about eight or nine. So that's been really hard for them to not see me all day. Um, and sometimes Jenny has, you know, video chatted and been upset or they'll say to me, like, do you have to go back to, to auntie's tomorrow? Can't you stay home um, this day? And, and I'm like, no, I have to, I have to go. I have to help her. And so, you know, they're learning about sacrifice and about that some things are worth sacrificing for. Some people, um, you know, are worth sacrificing for. And, and um, that will be, <clears throat> will be okay when we make adjustments where we um, give to somebody else. So... Um, I just want to share that if you have family or friends who, who have your back, give them, give them a hug, tell them, thank you. Don't wait until you don't, you can't see them anymore to say, Hey, thanks for being there with me. And if you don't, you know, just keep working on building those relationships so that you can, um, have a strong connection, um, with whether it's family or friends to be able that you can be there for them and they can be there for you as well. So, um, I hope this encourages someone. I am so thankful to God for my family and friends and for you all. Um, for watching. And I, again, I hope this helps you. Um, I'm looking like who did it and why today, because I have been so busy with my sister and I, I'm in her kitchen, so I'm not close to her right now, but I do wear a mask when I'm close to her because we just want to stay as safe as possible too. Um, but uh, yeah, just hope you guys are doing great and I hope to get on again soon. Thanks. Bye.